Mile, Dan from the Family Mile here. As part of the Family Mile going the extra mile, we spoke to Steve Brown, TV presenter and ex-GB captain for the wheelchair rugby team. He has provided us a resistance workout that you guys can follow along at home. We hope you enjoy. Hello there everybody, my name's Steve Brown. I've been asked to put together a little workout video. There's a lot of things that we can't control at the moment. There's things going on in the world that well, quite frankly, is, is bigger than me, but of course I'm following guidelines and doing as I'm told. So, one thing you can control is how you feel about yourself and, and what you're doing to keep yourself active and entertained. So, I can't get to the gym, so I thought I'd bring the gym to me. Um, it's quite simple. A lot of people are using cans in their videos. Um, I've not got very good finger function. A lot of people that may be watching this haven't either, so I'm using milk cartons. Um, recycling can't be bad, can it? But it means I can get my fingers through the gap in the handle, which means I've got a lot more control of trying to, to grip a can in the first place. And of, of course, I've also got hard floors and I don't want to be dropping cans on the floor. It's a lot easier for the wheelchair going through on hard floors and I don't want to be denting it with the cans. And of course, if you drop the milk carton, there's no point crying about it, is there? And of course, you can also tell how much you're lifting with this. A litre of water is equal to a kilogram in weight, so it means that you can keep track of, of what you're lifting. But the first thing you need to do is make sure you're looking after yourself before you start worrying about the floors, eh? So we need to warm up, and a simple warm up, I've learned this through years of playing, playing rugby. Of course, I can't do a full body warm up like a lot of people would be. So all I can do is move my shoulders um, and my arms. I've got very little stomach muscles so my trunk isn't very strong so just starting with a few head movements i'm going to probably go through this a little bit faster than what you should be just because i want to give you an idea spend a couple of minutes left and right up and down and of course stretching through your neck there by taking your head to either side um, once you've done that as your neck all warmed up then moving down through the body as far as you can and moving what you can. Just a few shoulder raises, taking your shoulders backwards and forwards, keeping your head nice and neutral. And then just a few arm stretches. Leaning over, I have to hold on to my chair with one side while I stretch the other because I haven't got the stomach muscles there to support me otherwise. And of course, if you've got your triceps, just a few triceps, stretches, arm forwards, arm backwards, same on the other side. Arm forwards and backwards. Maybe do a few rotations of that. I'm just doing that one or two just to show you exactly what the movements are, but of course do as many as your body can handle. It's all about listening to your body and making sure you're doing what you're capable of and nothing more. You know, push yourself as much as you want to, but don't overdo it. This is about keeping moving, not about trying to push yourself for the next marathon. Now if you've got it, of course, your stomach muscles will need a little bit of stretching. And um, I do this just by holding the wheel on my knee. off, take a breath, back up. No force the other side. All right, so we warmed up. Like I say, please go through that a little bit more detail, a little bit longer and only as much as you can. I know that everyone's got different levels of function. So again, going back to my milk cartons, this is just to add a little bit of weight. This is all it's for. It's not to try and make you the strongest person in the world. It's just a little bit of resistance against the muscles. Of course, if you haven't got the strength to use the resistance, just go through the, the body motion. And the, the beauty that you've got with this is you can fill it up 
as high or as low as you like to make it as heavy or as light as you need. Uh, make sure whilst you're doing this you, you stay hydrated. I've got a drink of water to the side of me. Very important to, to make sure of, of that. And then also your environment, making sure you've got enough room. I've got quite a, a long arm span, uh, but making sure you've got enough room to be able to do it without knocking anything over, of course. So um, a, few, a few just different stretches. Make sure the lid's on first, that's important. And then I'm just going to start off with just some side raises. Real simple, just up to about 90 degrees. And of course, this is going to be working the top of your shoulders. Nice and slow and steady. There's no rush on this at all. You've got to remember as well, what we're trying to do here is not build tons of muscle. If you start doing it with heavy items and a few reps, that's when you start ripping the muscles, you start producing a stronger muscle. We're not trying to do that today. We're simply trying to keep ourselves moving, keep ourselves energized, just feel a little bit better about ourselves, making sure that we do what we can to, to look after ourselves. I'd recommend doing maybe 10 of these on each side, having a little rest, and then going back to it for three or four sets, whatever you feel comfortable course if one's a little bit light for you you got a little bit more strength get two into your hand slow and steady remember it's all about that one muscle that's all you're trying to work at the moment is the muscles on that shoulder you're not trying to work anything else so don't throw it up there you're not trying to get all this body movement nice and slow, steady. If you've got it in your hold it there for a little bit. Feel it start to work a little bit. Slow and steady. And as I'm doing this, of course, I'm having to hold on to my wheel on the other side. I haven't got the stomach muscles. If I let go, I fall over. That's no exaggeration, that's how it is. So make sure you're set whilst you're doing it. Just trying to give you the idea. I'm not sitting here and going to do 10 sets of, or five sets of 10 in front of you. This isn't about doing a whole workout. This is about showing you some of the exercises you can do. So of course, that's your side raises. So from side raise, it's important to do your front raise as well. Trying to keep your body as straight, as organized as possible. My arm has to come out a little bit as I drop it down, so I've got the wheel next to me. Again, it's all 90 degrees, nice and straight. As soon as you go past there, you're using different muscles, different groups, and you're not localizing on the area that you're looking to work. Other side, just for a bit of symmetry, just to show you. surprised okay if you're not used to doing much gym work holding a pint of milk out or two pints in this, in this case and very quickly start to become tired okay so that's our shoulders done we've gone out and we've gone up all all it over <laughs> so that's their mind's done now, of course, that's your shoulders. We're working down as far as you can. I've got nothing from here downwards. So I can't do sit-ups. I can't do leg workouts. I can only work what I've got. And that's my shoulders, my arms, um, and my neck. So the next thing I want to do from now, just some bicep curls, real easy. Again, hold yourself, make sure you're straight. It's all about posture. Posture is really important. Don't let yourself be falling over doing it. Nice and straight all of the time. Just keeping your elbow really tight to your body. So the only thing that's working is this muscle on the front of your arm here. Nothing else. And when you do it, try and get it nice and tight all the way up. Again, it's 
all about being steady. I'm just doing five on each side just to show you. I think I've got five on each one. Okay, if you work the bicep, next thing you need to do is your tricep. Keep it all balanced, front of the arm, back of the arm. Now this one, a little bit trickier maybe, depending on what your grip is and how you can hold it. You can see my fingers are just threaded through there. Just over the head. Hold on, keep yourself nice and straight. Elbow as high as you can, nice straight line here. Keep that all centralized and then just lifting up above your head. Remember, you're not trying to push yourself. You're not trying to become stronger whilst you're indoors. It's not about that. Not for most of us, anyway. For most of us, it's just about keeping moving, keeping active. Now I'm showing you all of these just with this two points. And of course, a litre weighs a kilogram. So if you're lifting two pints or a litre of milk or carton, then that's a kilo. If you're lifting two, that's two kilos. If you feel like you've got it in here, get one of the four pints. Two kilos every time. Um, so what have we done now? Biceps, triceps. Shoulders. Now there's one other thing that I'd like to show you. It's not quite as easy, but if you lean yourself forwards a bit, keep yourself nice and centered again, and then you just bring it back. And this will start to work your back a little bit as well. Again, nice and still. Get that elbow up as high as you can as you do it. Squeeze it in. Posture first, lift second. Always get your body in the right shape before you do anything. Squeeze. Hold. There we go. And like I say, this isn't to try and work it to your everything. It's something that everyone can do. You don't need to be working hard and you don't need to be working as hard as anybody else. You're doing what you're capable of at the speed that you're comfortable with as often as you want to do it. But please, whatever you do, be as active as you can, be as safe as you can, and just look after yourself.